Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here again back on our Google Classroom. I hope you all had a wonderful Monday yesterday and are looking forward to some of um, today's activities for our theme, which is pets today. So let's go ahead and sing our good morning song together. If you want to join in with me, that would be awesome. Here we go. Very good. Thank you for singing that song with me. Let's go ahead and look at our schedule really quick. We did our good morning song. We're going to explain today's activities, um, talk about our challenge of the day, do a story together along um, our pet theme, and then we will um, end with a goodbye and I'll send you on your way. So on today's activity packet, we are now on the next page, which is on week four. Okay, week four. And our theme today is pets. So thinking of different activities that we can do um, along this theme of pets that we have, okay? So for reading, we can read a book together, and we'll do that before we leave, about um, some pets that are characters in the story. If you have one at home also to read together, that would be fantastic, thinking of um, some kind of stories that go along that theme of pets. For letters and sounds, you can use your small letter cards that look like so. Okay, and you, you can put these letter cards on your word mat to create different words. So trying to think of pet words, maybe like dog, frog, cat. Can you listen for the beginning sound and the end sound and put the letters together to make that word? So see, that's, um, that's our challenge also for today is to see how many pet words you can think of and how many um, of those words you can create using those letter um, tiles, okay? For math, um, a cool activity to do together was to do um, a puzzle and have your pet or your pet stuffed animal help you put the puzzle together. So working together to, um, to create that puzzle. For your fine motor focus for today, you can have a create kind of like a dramatic play with a dog treat bakery. You can use um, cookie cutters if you have them at home or maybe just like a plastic knife to create um, different dog treats or things that you would see at a dog store, right? So if you um, are thinking of different types of cookies and treats that you can cut um, and pretend to play with to um, use at a bakery for dogs. For art or sensory focus, if you use a paper plate, you can um, draw a spiral on it. And then when you cut out that spiral, it'll create um, a snake. And using things at home, um, maybe if you have paint or markers, or crayons, you can color in that snake um, to make it really neat. For your STEM focus today, there's um, another STEM uh, challenge where you can build a dog house with blocks or cups. So um, maybe thinking about the design of that, 
How is that doghouse going to stand on its own? Um, what are you going to put in there to make, so you have to make sure it's it's large enough for whatever is going to fit in there. If it's your stuffed animal or a small figure you have, how can you design that house to um, to be large enough for that, that animal? Okay, so those are a few of our activities that you can decide to do together today. Again, you don't have to do all six. They're just suggestions of um, things that you can do at home around that theme of pets, okay? So let's go ahead and look at our book today. We are gonna do another one of our readers. And in this story, we have characters that can also be pets too. So we have dog and frog. And that's the title of the story too, dog and frog. Can you help me count the words? One, two, three, really good. So dog and frog. Let's go ahead and read and and find out what's gonna happen. So this book is by Lisa Charlesworth. And the illustrations, again, are by Ian Smith. Dog and Frog. Dog and Frog. Ooh, what do you see them doing? They're running, right? Yep, let's look at that word, run. Dog and Frog run. Hmm, what are they doing in this picture? They're rolling, right? Let's read. Dog and frog roll. Huh. So our words have repeated dog and frog, dog and frog. But the only thing that's changed is what we see them doing. So dog and frog run, dog and frog roll. Can you see that? Hmm. Help me with this one. What do you see them doing down here? Starts with a d, d. Dig, right? Dog and frog dig. Dog and frog jump. Hmm, what are they doing here? Swimming, right? Dog and frog swim. Hmm, where are they in this picture? They're looking, right? That word starts with the w, w, though. So dog and frog watch. Watch, they're they're watching the boy and the cat. Dog and frog eat. Dog and frog play. What are they doing here? Right, we call those our speech bubbles and they are, they're talking, right? He says, roof, and the frog says, ribbit. So dog and frog talk. Dog and frog sleep. And, oh, what are they doing now? They ha- they're having a dream, right? So dog and frog dream. And that is the end. Very good. So I hope you guys, um, again, enjoyed our video today. We're going to go ahead and practice that um, our activities for pets. Try out that challenge together and see what, um, how you can do it. And if, again, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me on Remind. Um, through my email or also if you go to the Google Classroom link there's a, a comment section down there for any questions that you may have okay I hope you have a great Tuesday and I'll use I'll see you back here on Wednesday tomorrow bye